Behind a simple voluntary movement, such as grabbing a glass of water, cutting an apple or brushing your teeth, there is a complex system that regulates the motor control of our body. The nerve cells generate electrical impulses that start from the motor centers present in the brain, travel along the spinal cord, and then arrive at the muscle fibers, which thanks to their contraction allow us to carry out the movement we have thought of. What if this system doesn't work properly? Imagine if suddenly your hand began to stop responding to your commands. Start stroking your face, grabbing objects, or worse still hitting you until you choke, all without your will. This is alien hand syndrome, a rare neurological disorder in which you lose control of one of the hands, usually the left or non-dominant hand. In rare cases, it can also affect the leg. It is a terrifying experience where the hand seems to be possessed by an evil spirit. According to the cases reported in the medical literature, it is a neurological disorder without a psychiatric component. It is also called Anarchist Hand Syndrome or Dr. Strangelove Syndrome from the Stanley Kubrick film where a mad scientist tries to hold his right hand covered in a creepy black leather glove which often tries to strangle him and make the Nazis salute. As bizarre as this fictional character is, it is a real disorder. The hand is no longer under the control of the brain and begins to behave as if it has a mind of its own. Hence the term alien hand as the limb is part of one's body but is perceived as foreign, so much so that those who suffer from it refer to it in the third person. Some people can develop this syndrome after trauma to the head, as well as from brain strokes, aneurysms, infections or brain tumors, or as a consequence of neurovegetative diseases such as Alzheimer's. It can also arise after a surgical separation of the cerebral hemispheres, a technique used to relieve the most severe symptoms of epilepsy. Alien hand syndrome is caused by damage to certain regions of the brain, and several subtypes of the syndrome have been described based on the damaged area. We find the front variant, the colossal variant, and the posterior variant. In most cases, the cause is a lesion of the frontal lobe, the lobe located in the anterior part of each cerebral hemisphere, and is the largest of the four main lobes of the cerebral cortex in the mammalian brain. The frontal lobes are important areas for the planning and execution of voluntary movements, for which damage in this area determines a lack of awareness of movements and coordination, thus favoring the onset of the alien hand. In this case, we speak of the frontal variant, the alien limb attempts to grasp any object in the patient's visual field. In other cases, it can occur following a lesion of the corpus callosum, a lamina interposed between the two cerebral hemispheres consisting of bundles of myelinated fibers that connect together corresponding areas in the two hemispheres. In this case, however, we speak of a colossal variant where the anarchic hand acts against the other healthy hand, grabbing it and preventing it from performing a certain action, such as eating, drinking, or answering the phone. Then there is also a third variant, namely the posterior variant, in which the alien hand begins to levitate, that is the arm is raised suddenly and randomly. It can be while you are at rest or following some gestures, such as coughing or on the occasion of sudden noises. <laughs> to date, there is no definitive cure for alien hand syndrome. Existing therapies and drug options only reduce symptoms. The drugs control the muscles of the nervous system and prevent sudden movements of the alien limb. In severe cases, the hand is blocked with gloves or special braces up to tie it behind the back in order to prevent sudden movements. Among the available treatments are muscle control therapies, such as injections of botulinum toxin into the more active proximal muscles and the administration of neuromuscular blocking agents. To help manage symptoms and deal with those states of anxiety and discomfort that the syndrome inevitably causes, we find cognitive behavioral therapy. The care protocol involves carrying out some activities to keep the alien hand busy, for example, always holding an object in your hand, such as a stick when walking. 